Michael, back in the Netherlands. You're winning in Zwolle. Always good to be back in Netherlands. Yeah, it's good. Um, I, I think I've only had one bad time here, but the rest has always been pleasant. It's been good. The only one time I can remember is when you play Premier League and I play Michael. You're gonna get stick for it. You playing a you playing a Dutch guy in Holland, you get stick for it. But nah, such good fans out there. They give me and Peter the best of respect, and hopefully they enjoyed the good game that me and Peter put on today. After a busy period, you take a week off, and now you smash the world champion with 107 average. Good feeling on stage then? I wouldn't say smash. <laughs> it was a close game. I think it was a leg in there, two legs. But no. Um, I needed that. I needed that week off. I needed to get back to basics and my own game. I know I've been um, was lazy. I've been lazy with practicing over the last eight weeks. I've been taking things for granted since when I won the last night in the Premier League. Then I come to Zwolle and won the Dutch Starch Masters. I think I must have practiced nine times in eight weeks, ten weeks, because I was only using the darts as a practice. I wasn't doing anything back home, so I needed that. I needed last week have a time off and who knows, I maybe have next week off, get ready for the Grand Prix because it seemed to work tonight. It seemed like I was back to what I was 10 weeks ago and I was winning tournaments every week. Is it a tournament uh, that looking up for the rest of the season or is it a big one for you? No, this one you've got, you've got a, it's the first one in September, but after this you've got a TV tournament virtually every other week. So you want to be on good stead and in front, playing in front of really good fans out there massive crowds and you've got to get you've got to handle that and lucky enough tonight I did the 101 flew in so I knew um, missing last week I didn't lose too much match practice and knowing missing last week I put in enough practice where I can handle them situations as well so just focusing on what I want now I've I've played so many tournaments in the PDC I think I, I think this might be my 12th year maybe longer than that I've played every single event that year I've won every single event apart from a major and that's what I'm focusing on the biggest this year. You're focusing now but you're taking more time. Is it that you have more rest and focus for the tournaments, the majors, the big majors? Yeah, of course. I've seen Van Gerwen do it a lot. He always plays Europeans but he misses a lot in England, like a lot of pro tours. But where I live in England, it's so easy for me to get to. It's like Barnsley and Wigan. Wigan, I live five miles from Wigan. I'm not going to miss that. I, there's no way I can, but like when I travel in Europeans, it might take me six, seven hours to get to somewhere with flights and taxis. I know it's it's a massive prize money you you could be risking, but it could be worth even more by missing that one and winning the next TV event. And that's what I'm focusing on, and that's what uh, I probably learned over the last two or three years now. Michael, thank you. Good luck tomorrow.